Filthy Secrets of Ancient Greek Brothels. Greece, a land of philosophers, gods, and yes, brothels. Today we're diving deep into the hidden alleyways of time to reveal the filthy secrets of ancient Greek brothels. Hold on to your seats because it's bound to be a bumpy ride. In the heart of ancient Athens, beyond the grand temples and bustling agoras, lay the red light district. Here, in dimly lit corners, stood the brothels, a thriving center of the city's nightlife. This was a world far removed from the lofty ideals of Socratic dialogues. In these brothels, affection was bought and sold and love was just another commodity on offer. Male and female prostitutes, referred to as hetere and pornai, were the lifeblood of this clandestine world. Their stories, however, were far from glamorous. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update from us. Condemned to the margins of society, these prostitutes endured harsh lives. They were often slaves or captives forced into the profession. Their lives were filled with hardships, but they were also the keepers of countless secrets from their patrons' lives. However, the brothels weren't just dens of physical pleasure. They were also places of intellectual exchange. The hetaeri were often well-educated and provided their clients with conversation and companionship as well as physical intimacy. Surprisingly, the brothels also played a significant role in the economy. They were taxed heavily, contributing significantly to the city's coffers. They were, in many ways, a vital part of the city's economic machinery. The brothels were also spaces where societal norms were challenged. They were places where men and women interacted freely, where social hierarchies were blurred, and where the boundaries of gender and sexuality were constantly being tested and redefined. But beneath this veneer of freedom and liberation lurked a darker reality. The brothels were breeding grounds for disease and abuse. They were places of exploitation and degradation, where human bodies were turned into objects for pleasure. Despite their grim reality, the brothels were romanticized in ancient Greek literature. They were often depicted as places of intrigue and drama, where love stories blossomed and heroes were born. This romanticization, however, glossed over the harsh realities of life in the brothels. The ancient Greek brothels, in all their filth and glamour, were a mirror of society. They reflected the best and worst of human nature. They were a testament to the complexity of human desires and the lengths we are willing to go to satisfy them. In the end, the brothels of ancient Greece were more than just places of pleasure. They were a complex tapestry of human experiences, stories of love and lust, of pain and pleasure, of freedom and bondage. They were a world within a world, a microcosm of the larger society. As we step back from this murky world of ancient brothels, we are left with a grim yet fascinating image. An image that challenges our perceptions, forces us to confront our prejudices, and compels us to question our own society's attitude towards sex and sexuality. So there you have it, the filthy secrets of the ancient Greek brothels, a world that was as captivating as it was repelling, as enlightening as it was disturbing, a world that continues to haunt our collective memory, reminding us of the complexities of human nature and the timeless nature of our desires.